I've always had this curiosity-driven need to understand the origin of life and also the early evolution of microbial life on Earth as the best example of what we hope to find on other planets. We have discovered in 2017 what we believe are the oldest microfossils on Earth that could be as old as 4.28 billion years of age. I collected these rocks in 2008 in northern Quebec in Canada. This is a locality called Purpoise Cove in Nunavik. It is a supercrustal belt, which is a very ancient piece of volcanic and sedimentary rocks. And I've been working on these rocks ever since. Our new observations allowed us to see microbial life and quite some diversity uh, in morphology and also in size fossilized in the rocks. We were able to detect different forms of iron, different kinds of carbon. The 3D models showed to us there's a range of microscopic shapes that we found in there that look like filaments. They have a twisted shape, a little bit like a corkscrew. Others were branching and we found even a large scale structure, several millimeters in size, that's all oriented and parallel aligned. All these filaments are parallel aligned in one side. These are akin to modern microorganisms living in deep sea hydrothermal vents in the Pacific, Arctic, and Indian Oceans. For more than 40 years, microbiologists have told us that the origin of life most likely occurred in hydrothermal vent environments and with microorganisms eating iron and probably sulfur as we can infer from our own observations. I believe that the rocks of the Nuvuagita belt are up to 4.28 billion years of age, and that is within about one galactic year. So one spin of the sun around the galaxy, and poof, you had these rocks forming on the seafloor in northern Canada, and they had thriving microbial communities within them. Some of the instruments that we've used to collect data on these microfossils are currently being used by the Mars Perseverance rover, investigating biological signatures on Mars. Now, we have not found direct evidence of extraterrestrial life that has compelled the scientific community to adopt that view, uh, but I think we are inching closer by doing these discoveries and pushing this clock back because it not only tells us what to look for, but also how to look for it. And it also tells us that we need a bit of volcanism, liquid water, some of the right chemicals, which are common, and a very short amount of time for life to emerge and evolve on a planetary surface.